Hey, what's up guys? So I was thinking of getting a little bit destructive today and I'm hoping you guys are with me. I've got two motors here, a uh, basic DC electric motor and a 28 BYJ stepper motor. I thought we would take a look inside and see what the difference is between a stepper motor and a regular motor. So let's start with a regular old DC motor. Get in there. You know, a couple of tabs need pried up there. Well, I almost stabbed myself, but not quite, huh? That's always good. Almost burnt the hell out of myself. Well, not almost. I burnt myself quite a few times yesterday on a project I've been working on. Okay. So we pull off the end cap and you can see the contacts in there where they come in from back here. And they contact the shaft of the motor. So here is our rotor. Let's zoom in. You see we have these windings here and on the outside are these laminated pieces of steel. So this is our rotor and in here is our stator which is the, um, the magnets in this case. It can be reversed. You can have the windings on the outside and the magnets rotating in the middle. But basically what happens here is we get these three phases of this motor turning and that's about all she wrote. I mean there's a little, uh, well I don't think in this case it's even a bearing, it's just a bushing. Then we have our shaft with a shaft seal, there's our commutator which is in three parts and you see each part drives a different phase of the motor so that is our standard DC motor which does basically nothing but spin I mean it's not a bad thing it does exactly what it's designed for it spins now here is our stepper motor which is an entirely different animal this motor is designed to be extremely precise and controlled and you can see here we've got five separate colored wires and we can't just put a voltage on our stepper motor we need to use some sort of driver. In this case, it's this, um, what does that say, UL, ULN 2003 APG driver chip, and it drives the four drive modes of the motor. So, let's see how we get this bad boy open. Looks like there's a tab there. All right, give me a second, I'll be right back. All right, I think we're almost there. Let's see what we can do here.
Well, that launched off there like a missile, didn't it? <laughs> okay. So, we've got our backing plate. And then we have our shaft, which sat in there. In that little plastic bushing. Just like that. And it sat right there. So, you can see... We've got a nice little drivetrain gear reduction. See, there is our output motor there. Let's see if we can't remove these. Oh, oh yeah. Those come off real nice. Okay, so let's zoom in. So there is our main output shaft and gear which then drives all those other three gears which in turn turns our final output shaft there just like that alright who's coming out next looks like it's this plate here Come on. There you go. You know you want to come out. So now we can get a look inside here. And will this come out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're coming out. Come on, baby. Hmm. Give me a second, and I will uh, attempt to get that. All right, this should just... Ah. I say it should just, but... There we... ah. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. So there's the end of the can. And here, we see the parts of the motor. What we have here are two coils that are separated by another one of these steel plates that seem to be everywhere inside this thing. So what we'll end up having is one common wire and then the two wires to drive each of these coils once clockwise, once counterclockwise, or not, I'm sorry, positive and negative. It'll drive them each positive and negative. So two coils, each being driven positive and negative, gives us our four phases here, the A, B, C, and D, which will in turn cause this to rotate. And as I put that in there, I can feel I can feel it cogging as it snaps from one of these rings. See if I take out these metal plates which are what are getting magnetized and I put this in here now you see there's no cogging. You see, this that's a magnet on that center shaft, and it's all nice and cogged up there. So that is a quick look at the insides and the difference between just a standard little DC motor and a more pricely controlled stepper motor. So if you like this, please give me a big old thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.